Hi, welcome. This is a companion video to a couple of videos actually in on my YouTube channel, Revit for quantities of errors, pre-processing, and BIM for quantities of errors, keynotes, and assembly codes. So this particular video shows us how to add QS IDs or QS work breakdown structures using the shared and project parameters functionality in Revit. Now, in a previous video, we added the QS ID or quantities of aim work breakdown structure, in this case, the national standard building elements to an existing parameter. And that one worked quite well because it's available on the front page of the properties. But we also could have selected edit type and added that QS ID, in this case is actually in there, into the keynote, possibly even the assembly code, which will then populate the assembly description or even any of the available parameters in that identity data. This one is a little bit different because what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add a specific name to our QS ID. So rather than utilizing one of the existing parameters, we're gonna create one. So click Manage in Revit, then click Shared Parameters. So firstly, we're gonna set up a group of, I suppose a group name and then put our parameters in that group name. In this case, there's already a parameter group called Classifications, um, which I set up previously um, and then a number of different parameters within that group this time i'm going to set up a new group i'm going to call it let's say qs id or even it could be called quantities vein work breakdown structure and click ok so now what we do we have our qs id group name we're going to set up a couple of project parameters or sorry a couple of shared parameters within this group parameter so let's call the first one National Standard Building Elements, and that's the Irish breakdown structure. Common uh, discipline, or basically any object that's available in the model will be able to code, be coded. And the type parameter, select text and click OK. So there's our first parameter. Let's put another one in, the new rules of measurement one, and that's a United Kingdom, our British work breakdown structure click text again in the type of parameter, click OK. And then maybe click another one, let's call this one the International Construction Measurement Standard, and that's gonna be a global measurement standard, which is just released, um, that hopes to standardize the work breakdown structure. And again, type of parameter, text, click OK. So now what we have is we've got three parameters within our group parameter, we're gonna click OK. Now what we're going to do is assign those shape shared parameters, which are across, I suppose, all our Revit models, once we assign them to this specific warehouse detail post changes model. To do so, I need to click project parameters under the manage tab. So click project parameters. I'm going to add a parameter and this parameter, I'm going to add a shared parameter. Now I could have added straight away those parameters as project parameters. But I might as well use the functionality, shared functionality here, because if I need to set it up again, I won't have to set it up as a shared parameter, I'll just load it straight in. So click shared parameters, click select, and drop down to QS ID. So there's the three available. Let's say I take the NRM1, click OK. There it's gone in there in terms of the parameter data, NRM1, common text parameter. I'm gonna check all the items and I want them to be coded to show up in my model uh, and click OK. I'm also maybe gonna add, and you'll see it's added there, maybe let's add another one, share parameter, select, again, drop down, QS ID. Let's take the National Standard Building Elements there's the parameter data, that's all okay. Check all, again, all my items are checked there. Click okay. And lastly, I'm gonna select the ICMS. Drop down, QS ID, ICMS global, click okay. Check all, see that the parameter data is going in, that it's a text parameter. Show all, yes, that's working, click okay. Click add. And let's see, has it added those parameters? So let's say, for example, I wanted to code that window. Um, I should have my parameters in here and they're all available. I've got my NRM UK, 
I've got my national standard building elements, and I've got my global ICMS. So just like I showed you in a previous video, I can just type in or select all instances, an entire project, and then type in and it'll code that particular element to whatever jurisdiction I'm looking to code. I can also utilize my uh, material takeoff schedule, add a field that includes one of, or maybe even all three of those parameters and code it through the schedule. Thank you very much.